Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be more of an informational video. I'm gonna give you guys a few tips on how to get ahead in life and stay ahead right after this intro. Okay guys, we're back. So the first tip on how to get ahead is to get rid of debt. Income is your number one wealth building tool. And if 40 to 60% of your income is going to debt, then we're not making progress. You're not, you're not making any moves. So uh, one way to get rid of debt is to use the debt snowball method. And I'll put more info down below on what exactly it is, but I'll explain it briefly. Um, it's where you list all of your debts smallest to largest and you pay all of your minimum payments on all of the debts but the smallest one and what you do you attack the smallest one all of your income all of your income that doesn't go to just normal household bills you put it toward that debt toward that small debt so once you pay that one off then you just it's just a continual snowball so once you get to the big one you're ready to attack it and ready to pay it off as fast as you can okay so tip number two on how to get ahead is to create a side income or get you a side hustle so in 10 years this is according to statistics 800 million jobs will be gone due to like technological advances and you know robots and all that good stuff so you need an, another other side of income because if your job gets taken over because of technology or you they don't they no longer need a body train or program a, a robot or technology to do it then you're you're not gonna have money so you need another stream of income coming in um, majority of the su successful people today they do have multiple streams of income which is why they are so wealthy and so successful they don't put all of their eggs in one basket they disperse them between different ventures and side incomes and just different things so it's very important especially if you want to get ahead and your future to be bright financially you should have more than one income so whether you do you like interior design or you're good at makeup or good at hair nails whatever you're good at or whatever you enjoy um always look into creating doing it to create money bring more money into your household so another tip that i have for you guys to stay ahead is to not fall for the american dream too fast hence i said too fast um and if you guys don't know what the american dream is that is to buy a house and own your own home um being that we're so young and we don't really know where we want to live and our career paths or anything like that it would be crazy for us to even consider owning a house um so just be sure that whatever you do, if that is something that you want to do, if you're in the position where you want to, you are where you want to be in life, you want, you're living where you want to live, you have the career that you want, then fine, do it. <laughs> I'm not telling you not to, but uh, for the people who are hesitant, it would be a very crazy idea for you guys to do that, especially if you're trying to get ahead in life. Buying a house is, owning a house is a huge investment. Just be sure that you know what you're doing. It takes time, it takes planning. That's something that you don't think about overnight, like, oh, I'm gonna buy a house. That's not something that you do overnight. Um, just be sure that you're prepared and make sure that it's not only gonna benefit you now, but benefit, benefit you later and in the future for you and your family. So tip, like I said, don't fall for the American dream too fast. Other tip that I have for you guys to get ahead, and this is probably my favorite, try not to keep up with everyone else. I know social media makes it hard for people to not pair themselves to you know what what they see and the gucci bags and the nice cars and the nice bodies and all that stuff i know it's hard but ultimately you have your life that you have to live and you have goals that you have to accomplish and you have to make sure that not only you are good for the present but you your you and your family are good for the future important for you to stay focused on you because ultimately if you're looking at someone else and worried about what they're doing you're losing focus of what you're doing and you're getting off track of your goals and what you're trying to do so ultimately stay focused what they have it's okay if that's something that you want you work toward it you make a goal to work toward it and you get it it's simple it's not bad to take influence or be influenced from them or be inspired by you know something that you see someone else has but ultimately don't try to live their life live yours do what's best for you and ultimately make your life 
what you want it to be. And another tip that I have for you guys is once you have ultimately paid off your debts to pay yourself, and when I say pay yourself, that does not mean I mean go shopping. <laughs> That means putting some money aside that um, like in an IRA or mutual fund or invest it so that it can make you more money. So over time in the future, cause we're thinking ahead, in the future you will have some money put aside that has accumulated interest or has worked for you. Um, so at the end you have, say you put in $200 and 10, 15 years you have 50,000 that's just an estimate I'm just throwing numbers out but there are way there are accounts and investing and investments that you can use where you put a small amount in and over time it grows for you of course you don't touch it until you're older and in the future but that's a another good way to think ahead it's putting money aside whether it be for retirement or okay i want to do this or i want to have this much money by the time i'm this certain age that would be something good to do what investing investing into real estate investing into stocks anything that you're interested in anything that'll make you money is a great way to think ahead and to prepare for your future so that's all that i have for you guys i hope that these tips were informational i hope they were helpful and i hope they influenced you to not only just think about right now but think about your future and what type of life you want to live in the future and it's not all about you know what you're doing today i mean it's it's it is about what you're doing today but ultimately it's really about what you're creating for your kids and for your grandkids and what type of life that you live now that determines what what you're going to be like in the end so yeah that's all that i have for you guys today be sure to like comment and subscribe comment below some of your things that you're doing to get ahead i would love to hear what you guys are doing and also thank you guys for 100 and one subscribers i will be doing a giveaway soon also follow me on instagram i will link it down below i post super cute pictures thank you guys for watching that's all that i have for you guys today see you later bye